The following Patriot Profile is presented without commercial interruption by Smith & Wesson. Clay Connor was a Duke University cheerleader slash golfer who had lived in apartments his entire life and had never camped out. He almost flunked out of Duke about the first or second semester because all he did was date girls and play golf. And suddenly, on April 9th, 1942, after the Japanese uh, had pushed the Americans to the bottom of the Bataan Peninsula and thousands and thousands of Americans were surrendering, Clay Connor and a few hundred others took off into the jungle and said, you know, we would rather bet on ourselves than on the, the goodness of the Japanese. I don't think most people even knew there were people living in the jungles uh, of the Philippines. I mean, Americans living in the jungles. I, I think that was kind of like, well, I thought they were just all captured. You had pythons. You had ridges that were like the sides of skyscrapers. You had disease. You had the Japanese army. You had communists. You had your own men who had been bought out by the Japanese and had turned against you. The enemies were all over the place. He figured out he needed to have some friends and build some relationships pretty quick. Organizing the guerrillas, what these guys did was unbelievable. Nobody knew the jungle better than these Negritos. They had spring traps that could send a bamboo spear through a Japanese soldier like that. And so Clay realized our survival depends on us becoming, in essence, part of the Negritos. 